doing and welcome to this Pixelmat tutorial. In this Pixelmat tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do, um, you see quite a few images now where you've got the main sort of um, selection of an image and then the background is either blurred or black and white and the main part is colour. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this sunflower out here and we're going to blur the background. So the sunflower, the main sort of um, piece on the image, is um, is more prominent than the rest, and then we'll black and white the background as well, so you can see how the colour is how vibrant the colour is when the um, background is black and white. And um, I got this image from a free screensaver website, and I'll put the link to the website in the description below. Um, right, so yeah, let's get on and do it. Um, I'm gonna press Command Plus on my keyboard. Oh. Command plus on my keyboard just to um, just to zoom into my sunflower. Command minus zooms out. So I'm gonna press command command plus. And yeah, I'm gonna go in 200 percent I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in and then I'm gonna cut around I'm gonna cut around this sunflower with this um, polygonal lasso tool. And you don't have to do it perfectly, but um, but yeah, do, do it quite carefully, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll start off here and I'll show you, um, just undo that, deselect that, sorry. I'll start off here, let me zoom out. I'll start off here and I'll show you that I'm not doing it as perfect as um, as you think I would. So let me zoom in there, right? Just so I can see where I was at. So you, when you want to put a point, you just left click and then if you want to move the image around just scroll around with your mouse or on your trackpad um, dependent on what you're using and look I'm not doing it perfectly as as the image bends and I'm putting a click in there and it is and like I'm not going to this middle bit right here I'm just gonna go around that and leave that if you want a sort of a really really professional look then of course you're gonna to have to be a lot more careful when you're doing this part but for the most part it will look professional enough and to um, to the normal eye they won't recognize any different and it will still give a fantastic effect if you notice my um, my sort of menu structures or anything down here is a little bit different so this is the um, Yosemite beta or beta depending on where you're from um, which is the new obviously OS X operating system it's released in a couple of days I do believe I think on the 9th I think there's a keynote um, and then it will be free to download it's very good by the way Although we haven't got the full range, or had had the full range of um, facilities and functions. I'm looking forward to the rest. So what I'll probably probably do, is you can see that, you know, this is, this is um, testament enough to, to, to let you know that I'm not doing it perfectly. And what I'll probably do is just, um, is just cut away from the video and come back when it's complete. <clears throat> so okay, we're um, getting towards the end of cutting it out now, and it really did take me a couple of minutes. If that, if that, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to um, to finish my selection because when you finish, obviously you're going to want to come here into the corner and then go up here, and you'll get this little um, once you once you've located the other end where you started, you'll get this little finish selection. Um, thing pop up look text pop up and then just click to finish the selection and that's us selected our sunflower I'm gonna go back to my move tool um, and then I'm gonna press command and X on my keyboard and it cuts out our image you know what I'm gonna do on this background layer I'm gonna right click and duplicate so I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna double click this top one and call it top and this background I'm just gonna call it main layer right and then with this main 
um, layer still selected, just press Command V on my keyboard. So Command X was to copy, to cut the image that we selected. Command V was to paste the image that we selected, and it just pastes it as, as a new layer. And we're just going to double click that and call it Sunflower. There's no real need, it's just good practice to rename your layers. Um, now, what we're going to do with this main, we're going to turn it off. So, little arrow here, turn it off, and the sunflower we're going to leave on. Right? With our top layer selected, I'm just going to double click on our effects browser, scroll all the way to the top, or in here, just type blur, and it'll take you to the blurs. And I'm going to double click Gaussian blur. Then with this slider, I can move it up or down and change the blur amount. I just want it on around 10 pixels and then click OK. And clear my search preferences. Now you'll notice Gaussian Blur, when you apply it as, a, um, as an effect to a layer, what it does, it sort of pulls the layer together. So it shrinks it as in the process and you get this outsides, hence why we copied it. So we can then turn on the main and then this fills in. So all you're seeing behind this layer here is this main layer. But what you will notice if you look at the edges, it's still, you know, it's not blurred. So top layer selected, I'll press shift on my keyboard and select my left click onto my main layer, right click and click merge layers. So now I've got top, I'm going to duplicate that layer again and double click the bottom layer and call it main. So that was a bit quick for you. All I did was copy the two layers and then copied it again. I'm going to double click this top copy and just call it top. Now with this top we've got two layers remember merged together. I'm going to double click the Gaussian blur again and leave it once again on around 10 pixels. But you'll notice this time I can move the blur up quite a little bit more and because I've got my um, my main layer behind it again doubled up it's not um, not going to affect it too much and you could even do it again and again if you wanted to but I'm not I'm just going to leave it as that now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down our effects browser and we're going to find desaturate with the top layer selected so this is the blur image, right? This is the blur. This is what we, um, you could do this on yourself if you were in the image. You could sort of cut around yourself and blur the background and it's quite a nice effect. Now we're just gonna double click the desaturate and go to our main, double click desaturate again. And now what we've got, is we've got this lovely sunflower with a blurred black and white background. So that's a really, really nice effect as well. So, um, so yeah, as I said, that's exactly what we're doing. Let me show you another effect quickly. Right, I'm gonna duplicate this sunflower with my sunflower copy. Remember, this is the top layer. This is the one that's showing, right? So with this bottom layer here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off the top layer for now. With the bottom layer, I'm going to go to hue. Double click hue on this top layer I'm going to drag the colour up notice the changes in the colour and I'm going to grab this pink turn it to my left slightly and make like a pinky red type colour right? but I don't want it too fiery I want it around 30% and then this pink is going to be about 330 degrees Click OK. Now you'll notice we've got this nice pink. If I turn the yellow on, the pink hides. So if I go to my yellow sunflower, right, sorry, go to my yellow sunflower, select it, and then come here to my blending mode, and go to color burn. You get this quite nice effect as well. See, quite a nice deep red. We could even go multiply. And it will sort of even it out a little bit or another good one is color dodge and this makes it um, really really nice so um, you can mess about the blending modes and um, and do as you please so I hope this helps you out enjoy try you know doing it yourself if you're in the image blurring the background 
um, leaving yourself in colour and black and white in the background. It's a really, really nice effect. So um, until next time, catch you soon.